coffee. Hi guys, it's Kat and Vidya Hello. again. It's what, 9 a.m.? Yeah. And we're off to go get some breakfast and some coffee. She's gonna take me to this really cute. Actually, 9 o'clock on the dot. She's gonna take me to this really cute coffee place that I have seen before and some of my friends have gone so to, short. but I've never, I know, right? I'm like <laughs> usual height and then Vidya's down here. Um, so she's gonna take me to this really, really cute, aesthetic, picturesque coffee place. Yeah, this dog's cute. Let's turn it around. Oh my god, it has a sweater. Okay. I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry. Oh, this is cute. Together. Uh, and together. <laughs> no, my pants. pants are so cute. <laughs> Putting two sugars because it's one of those mornings. So I got this ring, this tiger's eye, like a gemstone store across from the studio. Yeah. And the guy who works at the desk knows me now, so every time I walk by, he like waves at me from the door. Uh, is he cute? Um, he's gay. So yes, he's so yes. <laughs> Would it be backwards? Yeah. I guess it is. Good try. Right. Thanks. People are probably staring at me. Oh my gosh, look at that dog. He's so cute. You should make like an. Yeah, it just rolls up in this Porsche. I have this little narrative going in my head that. I am this little witch in the attic overlooking all the bougies in Yorkville who's just here for the Whole Foods. And it's kind of true, right? <laughs> it is kind of true. Her house is like a little bit like off from like these really cute houses. Not to say your house isn't cute, but um, <laughs> <Thanks>. <laughs> it's like, I don't know, we'll, we'll approach it. Vidya and I are also going to do a, right, are also going to do so a tarot card reading. Um, so I think I will include that into this <laughs> vlog. And so, <laughs> we will be back. This stuff's like my favorite thing in the world. Palo Santo. Oh. Sacred wood. I believe it's from Peru. Always used to light it before classes and I was like, what is that magical substance? Yes. And then she told me and I went and I bought some. And then we have my sage and then we have my crystals and my incense. So I like to have all of the elements. So I have water and then fire, air, and earth. I go and I collect like rainwater and then under the full moon I charge it. I keep my rings and all my bracelets and crystals here so that like they can charge under the moon. So I like to keep a bay leaf and three cloves. Cloves are kind of protection and um, bay leaves are like kind of luck, like an intention or something that you want to bring into your life and write it down on the bay leaf and then burn it and it'll like start to crackle and it just like releases that energy into yeah. the universe. I find that amethyst really helps me sleep. Mm -hmm. um, amethyst is really good for like calming you down. This one is rhodonite. I got this one in India. Rhodonite is great for like healing the heart, like especially romantic things that you got going on. Rhodonite can help to like heal mm -hmm. from that. Um, and I have it on a necklace because I like to wear it on a chain close to my heart. How light, and this one's also a really emotional one, but it's also really grounding. Right. Um, and it brings about self-confidence. Mm. I have a big obsidian, and I actually like to put this kind of in the corner of the room sometime because it attracts negative energy, so it sucks out negative energy and like negative vibrations from right. the room, yeah. and it brings it into the stone, so I clean it mm -hmm. um, every new moon to like get rid of all the bad stuff. This is a... Clear quartz. You can use a clear quartz in place of any other stone because it's clear. I think they say it connects you to the divine because you can like see 
through it. My citrine, citrine. That's pretty. Everyone pronounces it differently. It kind of brings about joy and creativity. Gold's gold. This one is good for attracting like financial success. Mm. And then this is jasper. And jasper is one of my favorite stones. Jasper is all about strength and like courage, about like inner strength, inner fire, mm -hmm. that kind of thing. So yeah, those are my crystals Amazing. for the most part. I have more kind of yeah. floating around everywhere, but these are the ones that I've been like charging right now. I just, I like to keep all of the elements so yeah. it stays balanced. And I feel like that's kind of transferable to everything in your life. Like mm -hmm. you need to have a little bit of earth, a little bit of fire, a little bit of water, yeah, a little bit of air to like balance you out. That's awesome. And a little bit of luck and a little bit of protection, <laughs> right? I like to cleanse with sage beforehand. Old friends, I guess. So something to let go of, something to bring in the death card or like the hermit. And this one is what to bring into your life, right? What you're looking forward to in the friendship and relationships department. Oh, it's upside down. Oh. Maybe there's certain people in your life that are making you feel alone mm -hmm. and that you need to let go of and move on from. Um, or maybe it's just the idea yourself that you're in it by yourself. Yeah. 